Enterprise Manager, is the core component of CAAPM that stores and aggregates application performance metrics such as response time, bandwidth, and memory allocation. It receives performance metrics from multiple Intrascope agents that allows users to collect metrics from supporting systems and application servers. It can be installed either in a standalone role or a clustered environment. In this video, you will learn how to install CA Intrascope Enterprise Manager 9.7.1.16 on a Red Hat Enterprise Linux machine. Let's copy the Enterprise Manager installer tar file and OSGI package on the RHEL6 server. Enter this command to extract the tar file. Once again, enter this command to extract the tar file. Let's open the CA and user license agreement file in VI editor. Edit the CA and user license agreement property to CA and user license agreement accept and then save the file to save the changes. Next, start the installer bin file. This allows us to start the interactive installer. Press enter to continue with the installation. Let's press Y to accept the license agreement. Let's choose option 4. This allows the user to select the required features for the installation. Next, choose the required product features. Here, we have chosen options 1, 3, and 4 to install these product features. Press Y to confirm the selected features namely Enterprise Manager and APM Database. Specify the path of the installation directory. Specify whether you want to configure JVM settings for Intrascope components during the installation. Press Enter to accept the default value that is option 2. Specify the location of the external components package that is OSGI package. Press Enter to accept the terms of the end user license agreement. Press Y to accept the OSGI license agreement. Let's choose the Enterprise Manager Connection port. Here, the default port is 5001. This enables the Enterprise Manager to accept the connections from agents and workstation. Next, choose the Enterprise Manager Web Server port. Here, the default port is 8081. This provides a graphical user interface to launch CEM console or Java Web Start Workstation. Specify whether to use the password for the APM admin and APM guest roles. Here, we have chosen option 2 to install the Enterprise Manager without a password. Let's choose option 2 to install Enterprise Manager in a standalone mode. Press Enter to accept the default trace data storage length that is 14 days. Specify a trace directory that stores the traces data, and then press Enter. Press Enter, to accept the default disk capacity for trace data. Specify a storage directory for smart store, and then press Enter to accept the default settings. Next, specify a storage directory for thread dump. In a production environment, it is recommended that Smart Store and Thread Dumps directory should be on different disks. Press Enter to continue with the default monitoring options. Monitoring options can be changed after installation. Next, accept the default SOA monitoring options. Review the pre installation summary of Enterprise Manager settings and then press enter to continue with the installation. Choose the required APM database. This stores the business services and application triage map. Let's choose option 1 to install a new database. Next, specify an installation directory for the APM database. Provide the connection port for the APM database. 5432 port accepts connections from the Enterprise Manager to store business service and triage data. 
Specify the PostgreSQL administrator password. Provide the password to confirm the PostgreSQL administrator password. Specify the name of the APM database. Next, specify the username of the APM database. Provide the APM database password to continue with the installation. Re-enter the database password to confirm it. Review the database pre-installation summary, and then press Enter to accept the settings. We can observe that the installation is in progress. Once the installation is completed, press Enter to exit the installer. Navigate to the bin directory of Enterprise Manager installation, and then enter this command to check the status of Enterprise Manager. We can observe that the Enterprise Manager has been stopped. Enter this command to start the Enterprise Manager. Once the Enterprise Manager has been started, we can open Interscope GUI by specifying IP along with the port 8081. Thank you. For more information, visit www.ca.com/education.